today I'm going to be giving you my final thoughts and full review of the actual beauty products. If you are just tuning in, this is actually more of a part three of a three part series. In the first video, I did a full brand wash day um, with the actual beauty products, every single thing that I had. The second video is mainly just me doing a wash and go with just the gel. And then this is the review. So if you haven't watched any of those, you can pause this video and then go and check the other videos out so that then you can come back in and be like, okay, I know what she's talking about. Cause I'm gonna try to leave some of the experience stuff off because the videos have already been made. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna give you extra information that you already know about. So Agile Beauty, if you've never heard of it before, they are these white products with bold black writing on them. And they are pretty much exclusively online except for this showroom that is in Texas where the company is based and you can go to the showroom and get the products from there. The owner has said, she I was watching a live that she was on, she ain't really about that uh, in the store like, not really, um, but that she, cause she wanted to create that whole, I mean, this gives you an exclusive spa like feel, the packaging and everything. So you definitely get that it's a premium product. So you're going to get it in premium ways online and in an exclusive little showroom, which I, I am here for it. I'm living for the branding for everything. I'm willing to pay for something that's giving me all of this, right? So the products range in price, range in price from like $15 to $30. And it's really not bad when I get into how much you use of these. Like y'all going to be like, oh my God, when I tell you about how little of this stuff that you use per use. So um, just a couple of overall line comments. First thing, as I said before, I love the branding. Second thing, it is advertised as Balmint um, line, but it's like uh, with Baobab, Winter Mint, and Spearmint oils. That's how they get the Balmint thing. Um, and I personally hate mint. <laughs> that is what kept me from getting this line. And the mint thing is what made me have pause. I was like, I don't really know if I want something that is mint scented. Y'all, when my students are chewing gum, especially if it's spearmint, I can smell it so strongly to me and it's so irritating to me. I'm just like, spit it out. That's how I feel about it. Plus it's against school policy for them to have gum anyway. I don't know why they trying it and why they trying it with me. Cause you ain't gonna win today. So anyway, the scent of these though is not super minty yes okay and i there i know there's somebody else out there who's like me so they need to know this so the scent of all of them in general is the scent of this um there used to be this uh starburst chapstick that was square and i think they still have it out but it's like round now and it's kind of like a, a, a sweet cherry like under tone or whatever that's what these products smell like to me um, and by that, I mean the gel, the leave-in, and the shampoo all smell like that to me. What has a different scent is the deep conditioner. The deep conditioner has this old sugary peppermint smell. And I don't mind mint smells if they're sugary and sweet. So I actually, as a mint hater, do not dislike the scent of this line. Um, and also another overall comment, my hair today is Agile Beauty hair. It's the same old twist out that y'all used to me seeing and y'all know the only reason I ever twist my hair is to cut into it, um, which I do every three months. I don't cut that much because somebody be like, you trim your hair every three months. Okay, listen, I'm still retaining the length so I think I'm not cutting that much. So yeah, my hair is Agile Beauty hair once again. So that makes this three washes that I've used Azure Beauty for, so almost a month that I've been using the product. So I feel more comfortable speaking about them and giving a actual review instead of a experience or sharing type video. So let's dive into the individual products. So let's start off with the shampoo because that's what someone would naturally start off with anyway if they were using the products, right? So the shampoo is one that is formulated with a lot of oils. And for someone like me who really doesn't use oils like that, um, I, I, I try to like make sure my hair is really clarified and so that it receives moisture and that my hair is hydrated so that I don't need to use a lot of things on top of my hair and stuff like that. So this, the first five of this is water, aloe juice, cocoa mineral propyl betaine, sodium cocoa, isinith, I can't pronounce that, sorry, and laurel glucoside, so cleansers. 
cleansers. But if you keep going past the cleansers, you're gonna get into all types of oils like the baobab oil, the black castor oil, sweet almond oil, wintergreen oil, peppermint oil, which you know some of these are like um, not oil oils, um, essential oils. And then you're gonna get into, um, oh, maybe it isn't the shampoo that has that ingredient. I'll, maybe I'll get into that in another one. But basically, it's a bunch of cleansers and then oil. So I have found with this shampoo that it, even though it does not smell like mint to me, it feels like mint. And what I mean is that it is very cooling on the hair and on the scalp when you are rinsing it out. And I know that I saw the owner on a live and she was talking about how she wanted her line to focus on scalp health. I got a bubble. And I just had to smell that scent. I just love it, y'all. It smells like that chapstick. I used to have one of those. Did y'all have that chapstick? Cause it smells like that so much. But anyway, I found that I, two lathers was what I needed for this. Um, when I did just one lather, I felt like my, my hair was clean, but I knew that my hair could be better than what it was. Hit it with two lathers and it's, it's amazing. Like the hair just feels so much cleaner. My hair hangs longer, which that's a sign to me that my hair is cleaner. And it does leave a little bit of a coating on the hair, but not like a bad coating, like, oh my God, my hair is coated. Not like that, but it does leave a little bit of something of the oils and things behind on your hair um, so that you can feel it. So when I was rinsing, the first time I ever used it, I thought I wasn't getting the product off, but in actuality, I had gotten the product off and it was just a slight slickness that was left on, on my hair. And um, the price of this, let me throw that out there, the price, is $15.99 for the shampoo. I have done six lathers with this and I am, you know, I'm not shy with my shampoo and I have used up till, I'm using the light to help me. I've used about this much of it. I would say it's looking like half by my hand, but I would say this is probably, this is probably a little over a third that I've used. So if you say that every three weeks you're using about a third, that's three, six, nine that's over two months worth of shampoo, especially if I ever stop double lathering. I'm using more shampoo than a normal per person would use with a double lather. So you could probably get a decent amount of this um, mileage out of this and you're only paying, and you're paying $16 basically, rounding it up an extra cent. So the next product that I wanna get into is the deep conditioner. The deep conditioner is probably my top product from this line. This is probably the one thing that I could say above all, if I'm ranking them in order, this is what I like above all of the others. The shampoo is probably um, a close second because there's nothing that I've tried that's quite like that shampoo. Deep conditioner is number one and I'll tell you why. Um, so it has that sweet peppermint smell that I told you about. The first five ingredients, Oh, sorry, the ingredients are on the bottom. This is that one part that has ingredients on the bottom. So the first five are water, shea butter, coconut oil, behentraminium, methyl sulfate, and cedar alcohol, and then the typical things that you usually see in conditioners, and then a bunch of oils. Now, normally I would never pick up something like this just because of the fact that the second ingredient is shea butter. Typically, whenever I've used anything with the second ingredient being shea butter, when I rinse it out, my hair be dry, okay? I have had literally deconditioned rinse my hair out and I was like, oh my God, what is happening? My hair is dry or I've had my hair be, become puffy or dusty because of things containing these oils and butters high up on the ingredients list. So she formulated the heck out of this. That's what I'm gonna tell you if you're similar to me because I know a lot of people follow me that fought, like do similar things with their hair and so they probably would not normally buy this. I don't know how she formulated this but she formulated the heck out of it because it leaves no buildup. It rinses from the hair clean. My hair feels moisturized. Um, and also the detangling. I am able to detangle right through my hair with this stuff. And then the most amazing thing of all, this is the small container. This is the eight ounce. I purchased the eight ounce because I already had a lot of deep conditioner. I'm pulling up the, um, trying to get the price of it for you. I already had lots of deep conditioners. So I didn't want a lot of deep conditioner to use. I was like, I'll try it, do a little review of it, I'm cool. Y'all, eight ounce jar, right? I've used it three times. Every time I've done my hair, I've used it. I don't know if the lighting will let me be great. I don't think you're getting just how much. This is at least a whole nother use in this eight ounce jar. I have never used an eight ounce jar of deep conditioner three whole times and still had product. 
never never and so the small one that i purchased here is 17 dollars. that 17 dollars is making a whole lot of sense because typically if i end up getting four uses out of this 17 dollars, right typically an eight ounce deep conditioner i'm only going to get two uses out of it so really it's like buying two of of comparable deep conditioners so if I were to buy, and you know what, I ain't gonna put another company's name out there, but if I was to buy two of, an, of another deep conditioner that I'm thinking of, that particular deep conditioner, I'd be paying, I'd be in the 20s and 30s of dollars. Actually, two other conditioners I can think of. If I were to buy two of them just to get as many uses, I would be spending 30 something dollars. So to spend $17 and to get four whole head uses, and despite the shrinkage of my hair, my hair is long, so to get and it's thick. To get this many uses out of it, that's crazy. And then the slip is crazy. So of all the products I tried, this is the number one for me. This is my favorite product from the line. I probably will repurchase this um, from time to time. I just want to come in from the future and let you guys know that I used that deep conditioner a fourth time and there is still product. So the next product that I'm going to go with is the leave-in okay now the leave-in is what's the price for the leave-in do, 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 do. $15.99 for some reason the leave-in is cheaper than all the other products in the line this is the cheapest um, product if you're not counting the oil um, but as far as the actual products this is the cheapest one I don't know but anyway it's still 12 ounces both the by the way I didn't say the bottles are 12 ounces and then the jars come in eight and 16. So um, this one, the first five, we got water, behentrimonium multisulfate, acetyl alcohol, baobab oil, um, sweet almond oil, and acetyl alcohol. And even though it's not in the five, top five right after it's shea butter. Again, shea butter, oils, all that stuff going on. Um, it does contain silk or something, it says but silk amino acids, but the website says that this product is indeed vegan. So that's that's why I don't have their like um, curl cream, whatever it is, because that is not vegan. But this is, and all everything that I have is vegan. So I'm assuming the silk is from a, a non-animal derived source. I'm really hoping that that's the case. I really am. But anyway, so I also use a third of this. Um, however, I only use this two times, two times that I used it. I used it for a wash and go, and then I used it for this twist. It is the only part that is in my hair on these twists. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I typically only use like one product on my twist, like a curl cream, or I used to leave leave in like rinse out conditioner I used to use on my hair for twists. I don't do a lot of product with my twist. So um, the leave-in I found is a very substantial product on its own. It is a much heavier leave-in than you would think. You put it on your hair, it goes on slickly and smooth like other leave-ins, but it's much of a heavier leave-in than you would think. So it's perfectly fine to use as the twist for my twist out and the twist that I have. It works great solo, better than any, just about on par with any curl cream. But I found that for a wash and go paired with their gel, it was too much for my hair. It was just too much for my hair. Um, it really weighed it down and created like lazy curls and that could be I just applied too much or what but it was just I could not use the, the, the gel and the leave-in together for a wash and go for my hair no it's too much so I will probably reserve using this for like when I have soft hairstyles like if I'm doing like a braid out or something like that I probably will just do it with that or if I want to do a, a twist out which I do twist my hair several times throughout the year in order to trim it so I'm just gonna use that I'm gonna use it as a styler and it does it says that the name of it is leave-in conditioning styler so I'm going to use it like a styler and I wasn't initially using it like that but I've learned my ways the error of my ways and that I should use it as a styler <laughs> so last thing that I want to get on is the curl defining gel First of all, the gel is heavily scented. If y'all don't like scent, don't get this gel. My classroom smelled like this gel so strongly that when the children came in the first week when I first started using it and then the next week as well when I used it again, they were like, it smells like cinnamon rolls in here. And what is that? Why does it smell like cinnamon? But the whole room smelled because you know me, I'm running all around, I'm everywhere. So the whole room smelled like this. 
okay so it's very heavily scented and it stays in your hair long enough because I wash my hair on Saturday so clearly it stayed in my hair long enough and strong enough for it to smell in the room on Monday I'm not bothered by the scent I don't care but I know some people are opposed to that kind of stuff um, so in first five ingredients for this water glycerin sweet almond oil baobab oil and then um, the fractionated coconut oil now I don't know this is as, the, as far as the hold the hold ingredient the ingredient that provides the hold is much further down the ingredients list so I'm just gonna tell you what it is this is a xanthan gum based gel I understand how it's able to be so far down the ingredients list and still provide hold because xanthan gum ain't nothing to play with I have used homemade xanthan gum gel and xanthan gum gel has an extremely strong hold so I get how you're able to put all the oils and stuff and put it further down the ingredients list and it still has hold as a gel. I was amazed at this gel because I really, with the ingredients, I didn't think it would do much for my hair, but it did, okay? So the first time I managed to get a type of wash and go. I did get a wash and go from the first time I used it, but it was paired with the, with the leave-in. And I felt like my hair was very heavy. So even though my hair was like ooh, blowing around and stuff like that, it did not have that definite definition that I'm used to having. And it was also a really, really, really rough week in terms of our weather. So the complete front of my hair right here completely lost definition. It had no definition. And so I did end the week with my hair in a puff. I think it was the last two days of the week or so I was wearing a puff because it just didn't have the lasting power. And I think that that has a lot to do with the climate where I live. And then also that I'm just, I just typically don't put a lot of parts on my hair when I do a wash and go. Um, if I wasn't doing YouTube videos and all that kind of stuff, I'm telling you straight up, I would only put gel in my wash and go. That's it. I have had some of the best wash and goes when I only use gel. So the gel with the leave-in was just too much for my hair and it created a very, very lazy curls that had movement, um, but they just didn't have the staying power of what they needed to be. So then I came back and I used it just alone and that's what the second video was about and I felt that this was much better alone. It was a better wash and go. I had more consistent definition. My hair lasted longer. Um, it, it just looked better overall. Just overall better. The um, post that I put on this, the uh, community tab, that picture, that picture is from when I just used the gel. The gel already has all these oils and stuff in it anyway. Um, you can look at the texture because I still have some. I used it two whole times and there's still a decent amount of gel in here. You can see the texture is like a, a custardy type texture as if someone has mixed the gel and the leave-in together already in advance. It just, you don't need no leave-in with that. You don't need no leave-in with this type of gel. You really don't. Um, but again, the same thing happened though as far as, it was a lazy curl, but it was a better lazy curl than the previous lazy curl. And it just, it didn't last throughout the week. Um, again, the second week was also a bad week. The, the weather was just pouring down. It was all of that. Yeah, my hair had a lot of shine. My hair was very shiny. It had a lot of movement. Um, it looked great while it was still defined, but then I think the very last day, like right before I washed my hair, I put my hair into um, one of my mega buns. You know, the bun where it's like this big on top of my head. There's an old video of me wearing my hair like that. I don't wear my hair like that much anymore. So some of y'all probably don't know what I'm talking about, but I did one of the mega buns um, on top of my hair and I had to wear my hair like that for a day because it just didn't last. And I think honestly, it's because I live in Florida. I live in extremely humid climate. It is humid 10 months out of the 12 months of the year here. And so the Azure Beauty Gel is not bad. I like the way my hair looked, but I think that I would be happier with this gel if I washed my hair more, more frequently than every seven days. If I was like an every three day washer, which I know a lot of people are, this gel would be great, you know? Um, and I also think I might've used too much because the I, I watched one of the Azure Beauty gel applications. They were like, a jar should last you like five, six, whatever wash and goes. And this is looking like two and a half wash and goes. So maybe I just used too much gel. And that might be why I experienced the super lazy curls. So overall, oh, I didn't get the price. Um, I got the big one. So it's it's $28.99 for the, for the really big one. So it's about on par with price with the other exclusive types of gels that are out there. It's about neck and neck, couple of dollars difference from those gels. Those typically be 21, 22, 25. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So that gel is right there in that market. But overall, I like the line. 
I like the products. But in the far as terms of ranking, number one for me is the deep conditioner. Probably will repurchase just to use again, especially with how little of it gets used for the price. Second, the shampoo, never quite used anything that is formulated like that before. And then last would be, um, second would be the leave-in because it only is a styler. And then dead last is the gel, not because it's bad, but just because it didn't work for me and my climate. So, um, Thank you guys so much for watching my video um, and I look forward to talking to you guys in the next one.